This is a short reflection and prayer on the topic of thanksgiving in all circumstances. You might like to watch the meditation concerning anxiety in connection with this video. And you may want to subscribe so that you catch upcoming videos along similar lines. Give thanks in all circumstances. Is it really possible to give thanks in all circumstances for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus, as 1 Thessalonians 5.18 encourages. In the message version of the Bible, that verse reads like this. Thank God, no matter what happens, this is the way God wants you who belong to Christ Jesus to live. It seems like God is asking too much of us, especially at times like this when we and the world face a pandemic. How are we to give thanks during times of difficulties and challenges? I think the place to start is to recognise that we're not asked to be thankful for everything, but rather in everything or in the midst of everything going on, we should continue to give thanks. Despite our circumstances, all our blessings have originated in God and none of our circumstances can stop him from loving us. Whatever is going on, God has promised eternal blessings for those who have put their trust in his saving grace through the death of Jesus. Most times when we pause to pray, thankfulness is likely to be included. This is something we can make a habit, giving thanks each time we pray. And this habit can help us to be thankful in everything. We may have small problems that are getting us down, but the big picture is positive. Nothing separates us from God's love, and so we can give thanks. We may have big problems that are destroying us, but still the sun rises and the rain falls. Beauty is found in unexpected places, and love is given and received to lift us up, we can give thanks for the little things in desperate times. With hindsight, we can often see how the storms of life have been used to train us to live more fully in God's mercy and grace. Storms will be stilled, and when we come through the other side, we are often changed for the better. Previous storms teach us that coming storms are not all bad. Perhaps the loss of silver and gold help us refocus on the importance of storing up treasure in heaven. And in the midst of everything, being able to give thanks and to praise God helps us rely and trust him for the outcome. Having such a friend is a comfort when the chips are down. I'd rather be giving thanks than filling my heart with worry and concerns. The truths of the Bible remind us that however bad things get or seem, God is not only in control, but he is seeking the best for us, and he desires that we might have a full and satisfying life. Life is a gift to be thankful for. Even if you think it is impossible to be thankful in all circumstances, it is surely worth a try. Colossians chapter 3 Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you were called to peace, and be thankful. Let the message of Christ dwell among you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom through psalms, hymns and songs from the Spirit, singing to God with gratitude in your hearts. And whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Almighty God, revealed to us by all you have made and have done, and in your Son, our Saviour Jesus, thank you for your amazing power and work in our lives. Thank you for your goodness and for your blessings over us. 
Thank you that you're able to bring hope through even the toughest of times, strengthening us for your purposes. Thank you for your great love and care. Thank you for your mercy and grace. Thank you that you're always with us and will never leave us. Thank you for your incredible sacrifice so that we might have freedom and life. Forgive us for when we don't thank you enough for who you are, for all that you do, for all that you've given. Help us to set our eyes and our hearts on you afresh. Renew our spirits. Fill us with peace and joy. We love you and we need you this day and every day. We give you praise and thanks for you alone are worthy. Amen. Psalm 136. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of God. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of Lords. His love endures forever. To him who alone does great wonders, his love endures forever. Who by his understanding made the heavens, his love endures forever. Who spread out the earth upon the waters, his love endures forever. Who made the great lights, his love endures forever. The sun to govern the day, his love endures forever. The moon and stars to govern the night, his love endures forever. Revelation 5 Worthy is the Lamb who was slain, to receive power and wealth and wisdom and strength and honour and glory and praise to him who sits on the throne and to the Lamb be praise and honour and glory and power for ever and ever. Amen.